Hey everybody, so we have a package delivery driver here who found herself in some hot water with a tenant of this apartment complex because she took her special parking spot while she was delivering the packages to the other tenants. What do we think? Is this a Karen? More information than that. Yeah, I think what I have to deal with at work. <laughs> but you're able to talk on the phone while you're at work. That's so interesting. Yeah, because you was recording me. So I'm recording you now. You can report me. What, what are you reporting? The I thought recording. Great. So I'm trying to get information, and you are not providing it. Would you I like thought you to... go through the Amazon app. Nope. I need to know your name or ID number. I need to know your supervisor's name. My name, name. is Sharon Smith. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and put that down. Sharon Smith. All right. I can't give you the other information because I don't know the other information. Uh, I doubt that. But you can go through the Amazon app, file, uh, file a complaint, and no. okay. it'll be like that. Okay. That's it. That's not going to work. You, okay. don't, you don't recognize who you're speaking with, do you? No. I really, sure don't, don't. I really don't care. I know you don't. Do you know that it says resident parking only? It's, I'm speaking to you. Have a nice day. So you know I've got all your information. In That's fine. It's, it's a parking lot. I ain't did no. nothing wrong. Yes, you did something wrong. What I do? You were extremely rude. You made me wait. It says condo parking only. You've taken two spots. And there's plenty of parking over there. Okay, so why didn't you park over there? I live here. Okay, just, I'm, I'm just delivering a package. I know, but you don't have to be rude about it. And you I don't have to rude. You don't have to take two spots, and you don't have to continue to make someone wait. Okay. You yes. saw me pulling in. Have a nice day. This incident was recorded at the Four Seasons in Palm Beach, of all places, which might make this the bougiest meltdown we've seen in some time. This mom-daughter duo may never live down the embarrassment. This heated dog park fight was uploaded by TikTok user CardGod just a couple of days ago, and it seems like some of the other owners at this park have turned against he and his wife following an incident between their dog and the guy in the Stringer tank top's dog. They insist their dog was just playing and not being vicious, but some of the other park patrons seem to disagree. The people in the video's comments, at least, seem to be giving our main characters a hard time. What do you think? You're a big man, yeah, yeah. big man. Big, big, big man. Big yeah. man, yeah. You're gonna yeah, kick a dog, a girl dog, you're gonna yeah, kick. Yeah, your dog biting my puppy. Yeah. yeah Get that dog on video. Bit my puppy last night. You oh, need look, to keep your mouth people. shut. You need to shut up. Because I never, to nobody up. was talking to you. I am. You I'm talking to you. Come over here now. to get involved in this. You need to keep your mouth shut. Oh, I'm not. You no need one to keep your mouth shut. shut too. No, you I don't. Just, no, yeah, you do. No, I don't. With your dog. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna hit me? Am I gonna hit you? Yeah. Why would I hit you? Look at you, little victim. Yeah, well, you you're, my video you're yelling, you're acting like you're going to Look at you me. telling people to shut up. He got on my case I before. I don't understand though. Dogs do will be dogs. You don't understand do it? Dogs will be dogs, dude. My dog in the face and latches onto its head. You That's a, my a puppy. Okay? I'm a step right my You got a small dick syndrome or something? What the what is wrong with you, dude? You want to get that on that's video why he lives I did. You got small dick syndrome. That's what's up. Small dick syndrome? Yeah. I bet I can she's see got my, a little my dick. Uh, hey, small. Yeah, look at you. Clown. Look at you. Small <laughs> dick syndrome. Yeah, I wear. I wear. Oh, look at me. I wear I'm capri an old pants. With no I wear that capri can't pants. I'm a man. I'm a man. I wear capris. You pussy. I know. Who does that? 
Capri pants. What do you have, chick? Yeah. Where's your I guess. Chick? No, no. Fall that chick. Asshole. Chick. Everybody gets old, That's bitch. Everybody phone gets old. You your you're going to get it. Yeah. Uh huh. You're going to get it? You're going to get old. What? You're not going to get old? Not well, like you, that. Oh, like so what? I take care of myself. <laughs> dude, I've benched 500. I've benched weight. Look at you. You look like a pussy, dude. You look like a pussy. Yeah, right. Yeah, I would too. Because you're going to go to jail. Okay, go ahead and see what happens. You'll you'll be in jail. You will be in jail. It's called animal abuse. Animal abuse. He wants to because it's a it involves me. <laughs> He's liable for a vet bill. Again. Oh, look at that. Another one. Yes. That's you got that on film? This lady must have really cared a lot about her job at this gas station because I would never in a million years do this for my employer if I worked here. And I can almost 100% guarantee you her employer did not have her back after this. Sadly, she probably got fired. Not worth it. Just let the crazy guy have his ice. This video from Jacksonville, Florida depicts a young man who thought that he could get away with something super duper creepy in the women's bathroom. He was of course caught and called out in front of everyone. Nobody let this guy out. Delete the recording. You cannot you, get out. You have recording of us using you the You recorded people deleting the people going in the bathroom. You no, cannot man. leave. No, you need to delete it. Call no, I want everything. arrested. Call to you're call. you're not supposed, supposed to be in that bathroom. You arrested you're us. You violated fucking call, privacy. Man. You're so sick for that. You know what? How? Doesn't matter. Don't re don't delete them all. I want no, it all. Re I want it That's all. Sick. No, 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 no. You stay no. here. Call the call. No, no, you call. stay here. Not leave the store no. until well, someone no. comes to your ass. Delete the recording. What is wrong with you? You're sick. You. This woman recorded on the train thinks another passenger is doing too much because he brought his dog on, and apparently the dog is getting a little too up in other people's business. I know she didn't handle this very politely, but I do think, even being a known dog lover, she kinda has a point here. Maybe this guy should have trained his dog better. I'm sorry. Some people, my dog gets trained. Well, obviously the f he not, cause he just right. jumped on me. And like I'm saying, you're, I'm not overreacting. I am okay. allergic to dogs, and your dog That's just jumped on me. You're still overreacting. No, the f I'm not. I don't care. So I Get you keep their dog. Times. First of all, you cannot control your dog. I watched your dog go in this lady's bag and all of that. No, the f I'm not. Y'all do too much with these dogs on the train. Y'all do too much. You're still overreacting. No, the f I'm not. And if you recorded me, I hope you're not recording me because I'm not talking to you no more. Oh, but your problem was with me, right? Oh, but I just told him if he recorded me. So shut the f up. Really, miss? Exactly. Really? Do you need to go that far? Yes. You're overreacting. No, the f I'm not. Yes, you are. That dog just came on me. That's no such thing as double Stop recording me. And has my dog done anything I just told you to stop recording me. I fight. I don't care. Yes, you are recording. You are recording. 
TikTok user Chilling Mike G recorded the aftermath of a car accident they were involved in, along with two other victims, uh, and what was supposed to be a confrontation with the guy at fault, only it becomes extremely clear very quickly that this guy should absolutely not be driving anything at all. Ah. Uh. Oh. 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 Everybody! Everybody! I'm taking this out tonight! Yes! Water! Yes! So we can talk going, obviously, I don't think we need to tell any more people this is obviously where we're going to go. For now, okay? Like, we love it, whether or not we like it. <laughs> oh my god, I love my brothers! And Quentin Tarantino was of course hauled away, never to be seen again. This angry customer apparently came back to this Sammy shop three weeks later, by his own admission, to complain about their sandwich being too spicy, claiming that it was the restaurant's responsibility to tell every customer whether or not what they're ordering is spicy. I'm not gonna lie, sorry OP, but I found this to be a very frivolous thing to do. I got a meatball instead of a meatball. It made me sick because it's spicy. I got a I got the Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this was my subway. I know, I know. I'll go to Prescott from now on. I know, I know that. You, you, you're okay with me just going to Prescott? You don't need my business? Is that it? No, I want you to come here, but there is, you called me after one week, ten days, you tell me I ordered a sub, and I, I remember even what you said. I yesterday. called multiple times. You, you don't think it's your responsibility that my customers know it's spicy? No, if you don't ask me if it's spicy or not, if you tell me it's spicy and I say no, and if it's spicy, it's my mistake. the difference. They said it had salon, uh, pepperoni and it had the mozzarella. Yeah, okay. And that was it. No one said anything about spicy. I don't ask, I mean, I didn't ask to put any kind of peppers or anything on it because I stay away from spicy. I'm, I'm still telling you, if you are not going to ask if it's spicy or not, we, we It's not your that. responsibility is what you're telling me. It's the customer supposed to say, oh, by the way, is anything spicy here? Is this what you tell him? I'm recording you now. What are you going to do about it? Sure, it's up to you now. You said that he I has, they no has nothing to do if, if, if he with wants... the order you made last, last two months ago. Two months it wasn't ago. two months ago. But you called me two weeks ago and you told me I ordered one more one week ago. Yeah. Now, so it's three what weeks. Is what is the point? Report whatever you want to do. Say, yeah. You I have, I provide cannot. horrible customer service. It's up to you. Have a good Thank day. You. Mind your business. Have, oh, you have, no, this is my business. And this is my business. Get away from my your shit. I'm not walking around your shit. I don't care what you're doing. Get the away. Thank you. Take the pictures and get the Mind your business. Mind your business. So do we. Right. Mind your business. 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 Mind you know what it is. You know what it is. Bye bye. Yep.
I'm not sure why our main characters in this next video chose non-comfort in instead of discomfort in. That one seemed like low-hanging fruit, but whatever. These folks are in town for a funeral and all want to cancel their reservations at once at this comfort in because the person they showed up for was turned away. Oh, hi, how are you? Good, how are you guys? Good. Uh, so I have booked a room here for tonight. Sure, what's your name? Uh, Jennifer Cleveland. But um, I'm gonna ask for my money back because my I'm here for my friend's funeral. Mm -hmm. She tried to book a room here yesterday. And you guys wouldn't let her. Okay. And said because she lives within 50 miles of this place. Yeah, that is our company policy. Why is that? It's dictated by our owner. I I don't know the owner. I've never met him. It's his policy. I just have to follow it, unfortunately. Um, so we don't rent to anyone that has a. Um, a valid, like with their valid ID, if that says they live in within Rutland County, we cannot let them stay. But her so, boyfriend was with her, who doesn't live here. They had family staying at her mom's. That's why they had to get I around. I understand that, but her name was the one on the reservation, and she showed me that her driver's license said she lives in Rutland County. So unfortunately, um, so back to you. Uh, I cannot do anything with this. It has to go through management because it's a um, prepayment. Mm -hmm. um, so I can leave a note on here that you'd like your money back, um, and then they can uh, handle that. Okay, and can I get the uh, number for your whoever should be talking to? There's a card to? right there. All right, thanks. Yeah, because this is where we were all going to stay. We were all yeah, yeah. here. It also, it also has a no cancel policy on it. Right, because so. I thought everyone was going to be staying here. Now that the person we're all here to comfort they can't stay here, none of us are going to. Okay, well that's fine. You can you can. Uh, you're fine with that, that. You're fine with losing hundreds of dollars for. I have to follow company policy. I'm sorry. Okay. And her dad died, and you're making this about what? I just don't. I think you could have made an exception. I'm I very, can't. You can't. I have company policy that I am told that I have to follow as an employee of the hotel. I'm sure there was a phone call you can make. And no, I'm sorry. It's company policy. Management has told me that there are no exceptions. So that is the company policy, I'm sorry. Is that Comfort Inn's policy or your owner's policy? Owner policy. Yeah, because I, I stay at a lot of Comfort Inns and none of them have that policy, none of them. I'm sorry, our owner owns this place and his policy is no one that lives in Rowland County can stay here. And what's his name? Um, I'm not allowed to get all that information. What's we your have a, name? My name is Melissa okay. and we have a general manager. Her name is Lori and then there's an assistant manager named Nicole. And when will Lori be back in? Monday. Because, I mean, she kind of felt like a whore. Yeah. Like, she thought nobody was going to let her stay because her she husband, way, like, she was doing, like, a two-hour quickie, like, hotel thing. No, like, it has nothing to do with anyone personally. It has nothing to do with that at all. Like, it, it was literally like like somebody's in town for their dad's funeral and you couldn't make an exception? It just No, sir, ridiculous. I'm sorry. It's company policy. I have to follow it. Okay, I'm just saying it sounds ridiculous. Don't you understand that? I, don't I know you don't want to acknowledge it, but that lack of sincerity shows through. Just I'm sorry. I have company policy. I have to follow. I'm paid to follow company policy. I'm sorry. Well, we're all going to be going on Google and writing really, really, really rotten reviews because that you made her feel horrible. That is your the night before her father's funeral. I understand that. I'm sorry, but I have company policy. I have to follow. I'm sorry. I kind of laughed at the friendliest hotel in Russia. I know. <laughs> Despite looking for the other parts of this series and realizing they were deleted or removed, this clip alone thrusts us into a ferocious back and forth between two angry parents. Apparently there's been some schoolyard bullying going on and things have gotten serious enough that Mama Bear pulled up on these people's house and this happened. Uh, because your daughter harassed my son. So, and I'm coming to talk so if you don't like it, I can handle it my own way. Mom, you know, bitch she is like I, bitch, you can come outside and talk to me if you like. If you, I can have my son be a bully as well, like your daughter is. Your daughter's a bully, bitch. Oh well, get the of it. Tell your daughter to leave my son alone. Shit. I'm not, bitch. Come outside so I can beat your ass. Let me beat your ass. Let me beat your ass. Let me beat your ass, bitch. You better, you better shut the scary ass up. Now you want to call the police because you scared. 
Do it. Get you said you go what? I said get the We have a rare non-American freak out here. This woman takes issue with a local McDonald's refusing her currency. And let's be fair too, this is a pretty big bill, right? And it's clear that she knew the answer to her question about this money and whether they took it before she started recording this, but wanted to make the point for the camera. Them. Hello. Are you going to take my English money? We're not taking the 50 pounds, no, sorry. So it's my little boy's third birthday today, and this guy here won't let my little boy have a McDonald's. That's all he wants, because he won't take an English 50 pound note. Yeah, we don't take them, sorry. Why? Because there are too many counterfeit ones about. We're that's not, not That's them. not my problem. That's not my problem. I haven't got a counterfeit one. You need to have the equipment to, to find out what's counterfeit and what's not. If your staff have taken fake money, that's not my fault. Yeah, we... It's down to you to check whether that's real or not. Yeah, I'm sorry, we just don't take them. There's nothing I can do about it. What do you mean there's nothing you can do about it? My boy's three years old today and he wants a McDonald's. Yeah, sorry. We just don't take them, I'm afraid. Right, this is going this is going further than what you actually realise, mate. Okay. You're refusing to take English money. You're refusing to take English money. Yeah, sorry. We don't take them. Because someone else gave you fake money? No, because there's too many in the country. Someone else gave you fake money, so you're not going to let my little boy have it's a McDonald's on his birthday? Thing. Many companies don't take us, sorry, it's just that we don't take Can them. you name them other companies, please? Can you name the other companies? After this whole thing goes down, she actually goes to another local McDonald's location nearby after this and asks the same question, and apparently the other one does actually take that money, so I'll be darned. I guess this isn't actually a public freakout, but this girl's now ex best friend and former roommate seems to be exhibiting some truly toxic behavior, and this is basically every friendship red flag you can think of rolled into one short confrontation. Just wait till the cat part. You gotta talk your talk. Like, you want it. I don't know. Get out of my room. Girl, you are not, you're a messy drunk. Get out of my room. You literally just told me to shut the why are you in my room then? You're being so f rude right now. You literally yelled at the Uber driver. You fell on this floor five times and then I helped you up and you told me. Do you me? Do you feel better? Do you feel better? Do you really feel better? Do you feel better? What is your f No, 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 Tatum. I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you, like, make me feel like. Do you feel better? Do you feel better? Yeah, you do. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yeah, I think your cat feels so much better being with you. <laughs> do you feel better? Yeah, you do. Do you? Do you feel better, Tatum? Do you feel better? Do you feel better? Don't touch me, Madison. Then touch me. Do you I'm feel not better? Trying to I am okay. You know, you, you are not a good person. I'm not a good person? No, you are. Because okay. Grace would never do this. And she would never make me feel like that. What did I do? I haven't said one oh, thing. Okay, go to bed. Good night. Bye. I'm going to show you my cat. He's not in here. Now get out of my room. That's not your cat. Hi, Grace. Don't touch my cat when you're drunk. I take a lot of care better than you than you cat. You're mean. You you you're mean. You you protect yourself because you're scared of getting hurt. I'm literally in a healthy committed relationship where I don't I don't, don't want to hear it. Okay, then get the f out of my room. You're pissing me the f off. You are such a rude fing drunk and I do not want to fing deal with it. It's 3 30 in the AM and I'm not trying to get us fing evicted. Okay, go. Just shut the up. Then leave. Get the f out of my room. Go. My f God, Madison. You know what? Fine. Okay. You know what? I'm calling Grace. Get get the f out.
And our main character seems to confirm in the comments of this, this same clip on her TikTok that she has escaped this toxic friendship and roommate situation. We hope she's doing all right. Well, things have been going badly aboard a lot of flights lately, and this exasperated flight attendant took to the mic to warn the passengers not to get too uppity about the inconvenience uh, of things being delayed on this flight. Already completed what he needed to complete. He's filling out the paperwork, and then we can go. So I need everybody to, to return to their seats if they can, so that we can go, so that there is no extra holdup on us leaving. Now, as far as the flight attendants, we are literally in this with y'all. We had a layover that we all wanted to go to. It got snatched from us. So just like a lot of y'all are missing some connections, we're missing our layover as well. So we are in it with you. We are trying to go so that we can get y'all to Dallas as quickly as possible. What I will say is this. What we will not tolerate is disrespect towards the flight attendants. So this is the one and only warning. If a flight attendant is being disrespected or if any passenger is being aggressive, we are going to have you kicked off the flight right now. So we're going to ask for your cooperation so that we can go, so that there is no issues, because I promise you, we are all, we, we are not trying to get stuck in Belize. We are literally trying to make it as quickly as possible so once they get ready to leave, we can close the door and be on our way. I promise y'all. Does anybody have any extra questions? TikTok user Nick, who lives in this apartment complex and has for 12 years with his dog, who he says he walks four times a day here, finds himself face to face with a couple that claims to be on the board of directors for the apartment complex and harasses him for allowing his dog to poop on the property. You can actually hear the poop bag crinkling in his hand. I know that sounds way too well. So it's not like he wasn't going to pick it up. They were just being ridiculously petty and claiming that he didn't live there for some reason. I don't know how they would think that they know. Yeah. So what happened? It's private property. You can't let your dog poo here. Oh, okay. So Even you if you live here? Your dog, it's private property. You are trespassing. Well, you are trespassing, sir? I'm trespassing? Where am I you trespassing are, on? Look, your private dog, is, take, a, uh, yeah, take a video of the dog crapping. Do it, do it, do it. This is... I'm asking you politely. Asking me what? Not to trespass. Trespass? How you... What is trespassing exactly? Look at the dictionary. Look at the dictionary and you'll understand. Being on private property that doesn't have authorization. Yeah. Where's the private property? Right where you're sitting. Yeah? You know You know everybody who lives... You know everybody... some poo over there. Do you guys know everybody who lives here? Yes, I do. You do? I'm on the board of directors here. I know everybody. Do you really here. care? Do so you really I, care? Well, I, I, I care about annoying people. Do you live here? Do you live here? I might. But do you? I might. But do you? I don't think I need to tell you that. Right. So that means you don't. You're okay. A liar. Yeah? You're a liar. How long have you guys been living here? I don't have to answer your question. Oh, you're not going to answer yours? I'm on my home. Oh, you're sure. Not. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm on the board. I know you're not, you don't live All right. Here. Yeah, cool. All right, this was great. I love you guys.